All right, episode three, Spoonful. We're moving right along here, almost to the halfway point of the series, and so far, every episode has been fantastic, including this one I just finished. Episode three moves the plot along quite a bit. Uh, We have some great character moments. We start off where we left off, We realize whoever's behind all these killings has a group of professionals that are systematically taking down people that either know too much or won't leave the case alone. Because when when Jack and Roscoe returned to Reacher's house at the end of episode two, it had obviously been broken into and someone had been there to kill her or, or maybe, maybe they were there to kill Reacher knowing that they've been hanging out. So, Now that people are dying all over the place and they don't know who's going to be next, and clearly this investigation is is ruffling some feathers in Margrave. Reacher, Roscoe, and Finley decide they're going to bounce around some hotels and and try to stay off the radar and unfindable while they work the case. So they split up to work like individual parts of the case. Roscoe's trying to look up uh, DMV records or or rentals or something like that (laughs) to find out if anyone new has come to town and rented a car like maybe the bad guys that broke into her house. Reacher goes off to talk to a lawyer who they find out represented a truck driver who got into some hot water while working for Kleiner Sr. And Kleiner paid all the legal fees, so clearly something is going on here and Reacher wants to find out what the hell they're transporting, what the hell's going on, and and what this guy's connection is to this case. Reacher and Finley go to visit Kleiner. And obviously Kleiner, he's a complete, you know, smug asshole. <laughs> you know, tell him to he tells him to leave the case alone, which makes him look even more guilty. And Finley has a great moment, you know, standing up to him before Kleiner kicks them out. But while they're, you know, Reacher notices while they're there, Reacher notices um you know, they're loading an awful lot of animal feed. Like the crew on the grounds are, are loading, loading all this animal feed into moving trucks. Like way too much animal feed. So maybe there's something in there besides food for livestock. So what else? Okay. Also, we find out through one of Reacher's brother's contacts that he was working on something super top secret. He was keeping it super close to the vest and that it may have something to do with counterfeiting because that was like what Jack's expertise was. That's what he did in for the government. So that's a new angle that they're dealing with now, a new lead to follow, counterfeiting, currency, whatever the bad entails. Also, I, I think my favorite part of the episode is, well, let's see, it's my favorite part of every episode so far. Reacher kicking ass. So, first we get that badass bar fight scene when Reacher is searching for Spivey. And then he gets followed after he leaves the bar by the South American guys. And... He, and and now this is a part that actually kind of bothers me, uh, j- just a little bit, not enough to ruin the episode, but in the novels, Jack Reacher is admittedly not a very good driver. And and they did this in the Tom Cruise movies as well, but, but I kind of get it, right? Like, y- you can't have a badass action film or series without a badass action <laughs> driving scene. Like, it's it's not an action series or film if you don't have a badass driving scene. So, I get it. I get why they do it. Um, you know, you're not going to make Reacher a bad driver. Um, but anyway, he, he leads the South American gentleman into a field where he then sneaks up behind them, takes them out from behind, and oh, by the way, Reacher has a gun now. Didn't mention that, but Roscoe gave him a gun earlier in the episode, and I am so glad that they're leaning into this because in the more recent Reacher books, they've kind of steered away from firearms a little bit. Um, and it seems intentional. That's just not a direction that I'm real happy with. I love the guns blazing Reacher, and I hope it continues in this in this series. 
So he takes them out and opens up their trunk and finds Spivey dead in the trunk. So there's that. The leads are drying up. It's like he's getting a little bit closer, but a little bit further away from the answers. And also, on the firearms thing, one thing I would love to see play out is the final few chapters of a book called A Wanted Man. If you read that then and you remember it, then you know what I'm talking about. Uh, it might be one of the coolest firefights in all of the novels. Anyway, back to it. So, so, so we get some great character building stuff in this episode with Finley. Um, that, that I think really shows the audience that he's a genuine, upstanding dude. You know, we still don't know a lot about his past yet, uh, but I'm sure that it will be revealed in episodes to come. But we did get some great character moments with him. And, and this one, and when, when he's in the bar and he's approached by a woman, you know, he's flattered, but he turns her down outright. And, and you know, from what we've seen, he's not even with his wife anymore. So there's some sort of loyalty there that, that, that that's still there, you know, that he has for his estranged wife, ex-wife. I, I don't know. They, they, they haven't really told us yet. Um, I, I don't know how they're going to do it in the series. You know, it may differ from the books, and I don't want to spoil it for anyone who doesn't know what happened in the novels or in, in Killing Floor. But this scene definitely made us see him more as, as just a, a regular guy, a good guy, you know, more than just a guy with a stick up his ass who can't stand Reacher and his antics. All right. Look, I, I'm not going to keep you guys much longer. Uh, I'll, I'll be honest. I want to start this next episode. So I will talk to you again very soon. And when we talk the next time, I will be halfway through this series. So far, loving every minute of it. And I can't to see, can't wait to see what's next. I know there's a character showing up later in the series, uh, but I'm not going to give it away. For some of you that may have read the books but don't know that that person is coming, or some of you who haven't read the books and don't even know who this character is yet, I want you to be introduced to them. Um, but yeah, I'll be keeping my eye out for that. And also, keeping my eye out for this Lee Child cameo that everyone keeps promising me. If you don't know... Lee Child is the author of Killing Floor, which this season of Reacher is based on. And, you know, all of the other 50 Jack Reacher novels, short stories, novellas, uh, Reacher's rules, all, everything. He's a legend to us Reacher fans, and, and if you didn't already know this, uh, he made an appearance in both of the Tom Cruise Reacher films, and he makes an appearance in this series at some point as well. So I'll be keeping my eye out for that, and so should you. Thanks again for checking out the review, and if you enjoyed it, please like it and share it, all that good stuff, and stick around, because I am doing every episode. Oh, and also, just announced today, Reacher will be back for a second season, so I will also be reviewing all of those episodes when they come around as well, and if you didn't already know this, I'm a, I'm a massive Reacher fan, I've been reviewing the books on this channel for years, and I will continue to do so for the foreseeable future so please subscribe for more if you love the reacher series the jack reacher novels hell e even the tom cruise films i got room for everybody uh it's not all that i do on this channel i also make a lot of videos and podcasts about other entertainment and pop culture but as i said there's plenty of reacher stuff to consume as well so i'd really love you to stick around and at the very least check out the reacher content i have on the channel all right, guys, thanks again. See you in the next one.